this video we will be seeing how to parse JSON in Android. I have created this URL which returns a JSON string. Now this JSON string contains an array students which contains the data of different students like name, percentage, grade, etc. Now we will be seeing how to parse these data and display them on an Android view. You could refer this article if you need any help. So let's start by creating a new project. I have created a new project. Now we'll be fetching all the data from this URL and showing them on a text view. We'll be using Google Volley to fetch the data and we'll be showing them on a text view. So let's start by adding Volley library to our project. You could refer this post to know more about Google Volley. So let's add the Gradle dependencies. We have to go to the project. Gradle scripts, build Gradle, app module. Now go to the dependencies and paste the dependency for Volley. Now you can sync now. After adding the library to the project, you can close the build Gradle. Now you have to go to the manifest folder. Now you have to select the text part and add the permission for internet. Now we have added the permission for accessing internet. Now you can close the manifest file. Now we have to add a text view and a button view to the activity main XML file. We can find that inside the resources layout activity main. So this is the view part of our project. Now I am going to change the text view completely and add a text view and also a button. Now I am also going to change the parent layout to linear layout. Set the orientation to vertical. Now we have to add the ID for the text view. Now you have to add the button view. Now I have added the button with an ID button fetch and also added the text fetch data. Now you can give gravity to the parent layout. Now we have aligned the items to center. Now let's move to the Java part. That's all we are going to do with the view part. Now we have to go to the Java part and do the implementations. So you have to go to the Java folder inside the com dot or package name. You can see main activity Java file. Now open the article, scroll down. You can see that you have to implement an on click for the button. First of all, we have to create objects for the button and the text view. Now let's initialize the button and text view. Find view by ID and give the ID that we have given here. We can see that we have given the ID results to the text view. So we'll be using this ID to call and initialize the object text view. Now do the same for button. Now we have to set the on click listener for the button. For that, you have to type button dot set on click listener. Inside this, you have to pass the on click listener. Now we have implemented the on click listener for the button. Now inside this function on click, you can execute the task you have to do when the button is clicked. So here we have to fetch the data from the URL. So inside this on click function, we have to call a function which fetches the data. So that will be using our Google Volley library. 
So let's go outside the onCreate function and create a function fetch data. Now inside this fetch data function, you have to write the code for making a get request using Voli. Go to this article, which is an explanatory article on Google Voli. And for now, we are going to copy this code, which is for making a get request to the URL. So we are going to paste them here. You can see red lines all over. So simply click on the red and type alt enter. Import the class. That's it. Now the first one is solved. Now the second one will be. So here you can see that we are making a toast message. You can remove that because we will not be using the toast. So remove that. Now that's it. You can see we have done the importing of libraries. If you go to the import part, you can see that we have imported everything from Voli. That is request, request queue, response, Voli error, etc. On response. Now this is called when we get a response from the request we have made. We have to change this URL and use the URL we have created here. and paste it here. Now this is simply a file, a JSON file, which returns some data, JSON string. Okay, I have hosted it on my server and that's all. You have to create an API which fetches the data from the database and prints it in JSON format. For that, you can refer this article. See, I'll give the link on the description. You can also check the video I'll be adding that on the I button. You can check that also. With this, you can create the API easily. Now for this video, I have created this URL, which returns a JSON string. That's all. Inside the on response function, we'll be having the response that is the JSON string inside this variable that is string response. So you'll be getting all these data inside this variable. Now we have to parse this JSON. Now here's the actual task. So we have to create a function parse JSON or something like that. Now let's go below this function and create this function. Now you have to pass the response variable to this function. So we are going to pass that. So here you have to receive it. For that, create a variable string. We are going to name it response itself. Now inside this function, you are receiving all the response that we get. That is, we are having a JSON object. Now this entire thing is a JSON object. Inside that, you are getting a JSON array can see it has a name student and inside that there are many items okay so we have to get the object first from the string then you have to get the array then you can loop through the items and print them so for that first you have to create an object for JSON object okay So in this line, you can see that we have converted the response JSON string to JSON object. Okay. Now this error is because you have to wrap this inside a try catch. You can click over this and type alt enter try catch. That's all. Now you have added the try and the catch. Now here we are having the JSON object. Now you have to get the JSON array. For that, create an object for JSON array. Now we have to get the JSON array from the object that is this object. Okay. So JSON object 
डॉट गेट जेसन आर ए नाउ इन साइड दिस फंक्शन यू हैव टू स्पेसिफाई द नेम ऑफ द आर ए सो द नेम ऑफ आवर आर ए इज स्टूडेंट्स सो नाउ वी हैव द जेसन आर ए इन साइड दिस वेरिएबल ओके सो नाउ वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ लूप to loop through the ra items and then print them right so create a loop for int i equal to 0 i less than uh, so i should be less than length of the array i plus plus so now we are inside the loop inside the array let's take the first item so there are item number 1 that is this one we are having an object so you have to get the object from the array so that can be done like create an object for the json object so json object we are getting the json object from the index i okay so this i will be changing like 0 1 2 3 etc so you will be getting the object each time okay so that's it so now inside this object you can call directly the name of these items name percentage grade etc first of all you can create variables for these items so i have created variables name var percentage var grade var so i have created them like uh, added a var so that you will not be confused with these names okay so that's all so now you have to get the value from these objects for that you first of all let's get the name so name var which is a string equal to json object Two, okay, that is this object. Okay, we are inside the loop. This object gets the data from the array. So the second object dot get. You can use get string or get, and also there are get int, get double, etc. For now, we are using get string because this is a string. Now inside this, you have to give the name of that. item that is name so here you will get the name on the first iteration you will get the first name that is student 1 second one will be second student 2 etc so let's do this for the other items too okay now you can see we have fetched the data from each item that is name percentage grade so let's append this data to the text view so that we can view them on the android side so for that let's use the text view variable dot append now first we have to give the name now we have set the name then we have print the name var so this will print the first student's name okay then let's print the percentage and the grade okay now we can see that we have added the name percentage and grade at the end we have also added the slash in so that it will go to the next line on the next loop so that's all let's run this and see whether we have created any mistake or not okay okay we have went called the function fetch data so we have to call this function inside this on click okay that's all so you have to call the fetch data function inside the on click listener 
then inside the on response we are calling the parse JSON. That's all. So let's run this and see. So you can see the emulator is up. Let's click the button fetch data. Now you can see the details of the first student, name, percentage, grade. Then the second student, name, percentage, grade is printed exactly like we have given. See, we have five details and we have print them exactly. If you want to fetch these data from the database, you can refer this article or you can go to our YouTube channel. I will give the video link on the i button and also on the description. We have created a video on how to create the API to fetch data from the database. So you can refer them. Also, if you need the full source code of this video, you can get that from this URL. I will give that on the description. You can check that out. So that's all. This is how you can parse the JSON data and display them on an Android. Hope you understand this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.